Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science. In this video, you are going to learn on how to prepare a revenue account and valuation of balance sheet for LIC company accounts. Click the I button to view my previous videos. And in the previous video, I shared the format on how to prepare a revenue account in LIC. And this is the format already. I gave explanation in the previous video. We have uh, four schedules. The premium yearned is the schedule number one. And under premium yearned, we will show two more items as income from investments as well as other income. Uh, which has no shell numbers and will post a respective amount to get the idea of the what is total A. And the total B is all about the combination of commission shell number two and operating expense shell number three. Then once you complete the total B, we'll move on to total C. Uh, it's all about what are the benefits paid out by the life insurance company, either in the form of claims or surrenders or annuities or bonus, all these things. And once we calculate a total A, B, and C, and the summation of B and C has to be compared with the total A in order to know what is a surplus before tax for this particular company. And when we link into the problem, uh, is there any special information about the dividend paid to the shareholders or any other reserve is given? Once it is given the problem, we need to consider it. What are the appropriations to be made in this current year? And after that, the balance will be the funds for future appropriation, which has to be transferred to the channel number six in the balance sheet. And then this is all about the revenue account format, what I taught in the previous video. And this video, especially you will learn how to prepare the format for valuation of a balance sheet. We have a, a format as like a ledger, where we have a debit side and credit side. On the debit side, uh, we have the net liability as per the actuarial valuation of the insurance company. And the credit side, what is a, a life assurance fund as per the balance sheet? Sometimes the problem may I have uh, opening life assurance fund and you need to show only the closing life assurance fund here. How to calculate the closing life assurance fund means you need to combine both opening life assurance fund along with the surplus. Once you combine, you'll come to know what is the closing life assurance fund. I repeat, you need to show only closing life assurance fund here. If you have the problem like uh, opening life assurance fund was given and you are preparing the revenue account, when the revenue account, you will come to know what is a surplus. So the surplus as per the revenue account has to be combined with the opening life assurance fund in order to know the closing life assurance fund. The closing life assurance fund only how to be compared with the net liability of the company in order to know what is a net surplus. This is the way how a life insurance company will prepare the valuation of balance sheet to know the net surplus. Let me check one problem in this video to have more understanding. The quinquennial valuation of Republic Limited having a paid up capital of rupees 5 lakhs disclose a net liability 46 lakh 50,000. This is the net liability. We usually show the debit side of the valuation of balance sheet and uh, prepare revenue account for the year under 31, 3, 2, 2, 6 and the valuation balance sheet as on the date showing the surplus for policyholders and shareholders. Let me check the amounts. The amounts given this problem after omitting three zeros. So life fund, look at the date. Life fund on 14-2005 only, it, it was given. That is opening life assurance fund. And then premiums is the schedule number one. Interest and dividends and rents will be shown directly in the revenue account under the title income from investments. And fines for revival of lapse policies are all other income categories. So straight away, we can take this item as other income in the revenue account. Consideration for annuities granted is an another income uh, under the other income we need to show. Claims paid is a benefits paid, shell number four. Reinsurance claims irrecoverable. We need to adjust in the shell number four. 
Next, expense of management is the operating expense, shell number three. Commission is an uh, shell number two. And bonus and reduction of premium will show in the schedule number four as bon uh, benefits paid. Annuity is paid also will come in schedule number four. Surplus on revaluation of revisions purchase is another income. Surrenders, shell number four. And we need to consider the income tax as well as bonus in cash is an another benefits to be paid in the shell number four. Let me check the next slide, how I prepare the revenue account. See, shell number one, I showed as premium earned. Only one item, I showed premiums 2,580 as for the problem. Shell number two is the commission. So two is the commission. And I have only one item showed with the respective amount. And shell number three is the operating expenses as uh, we have expense of management will be shown under this category 470. Then finally, I'll prepare the shell number four, benefits paid, claims paid, reinsurance claims recoverable, and then annuities paid, bonus paid in cash, bonus and reduction of premium surrenders. All will show under shell number four and then we'll get the total as 682.5. See, reinsurance claims alone is given the problem is I will deduct it from here. It is irrecoverable. So, irrecoverable means this company will not able to claim the another insurance company that because those claims belonging to that another insurance company that it seems it was irrecoverable. So, still it's a expense for this company only. That's why we are considering as one of the benefits paid. Okay. In case only reinsurance claims alone it is given means I will deduct it over here, which is irrecoverable. So it's still expenses for this company. It is not shared by the another insurance company as an expense. So this company is going to bear those expenses. That's why I'm considering this also as one of the expenses. So once I complete all the four, show, uh, four schedules, which is necessary for preparing the revenue account, I will start preparing the revenue account as per the format. So I'll put the heading revenue account of Star Life Insurance Company for the year ended 31 3, 2006. Okay. So I will put the heading revenue account of Star Life Insurance Company for the year ended. Then I have three columns, particular shell number and amount. And then under uh, particulars, first item, the shell number one, premiums earned. I'll show the respective amount. And Next is, as per the format, any income from investment means only one item as per the problem, interest, dividends, and rates. And other income category, I have three items, uh, consideration for annuities granted, fines for revival of lapse policies, surplus on revaluation of revisions purchase. All these three will come usually in other income category only, straight away in revenue account which has no schedule number for other income, income from investment. I'll show the respective amounts to get the total EA. Then I will uh, transact the commission, share number two, and operating expense, share number three, to get an idea about what is total B. Then I'll move on to the total C, which is none other than share number four, benefits paid, 682.5. Then what is a surplus? Before tax, I will calculate by having uh, the comparison between the summation of B and C with the A total. So the surplus is 2,928.2. And once I calculate the surplus, the, as for this problem, we don't have any appropriations. So that surplus, we whatever we calculated, we can make use to prepare the valuation of balance sheet. So as per the valuation of balance sheet, net liability as per the problem is, 46 lakh 50,000. Can you recall that 46 lakh 50,000? Since I showed all the amounts after omitting three zeros, I will omit three zeros from this amount also. I'll show only 4,650 alone for the calculation purpose. So 4,650 is the amount I'm showing as net liability after omitting three zeros. And I said no in the beginning. Life assurance fund, only the closing life assurance fund you need to show because the opening life fund is given as per the problem is 5,000 plus the surplus I got it as per the revenue account 2,928.2. Then I'll come to know what is a closing life assurance fund. Then I'll compare the closing life assurance fund 
with a net liability, I'll come to know what is a net surplus. So this is the way how a life insurance company accounts will prepare the revenue account as well as the valuation of balance sheet. Thanks for watching my video. Keep sharing with your friends and colleagues. Click the bell button. Subscribe my channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.